Hello everybody, my name is Derek and today is Friday the 5th of February 2010 which means that it's the first Friday of the month that gives us new unemployment figures. The U3 official numbers declined from 10% down to 9.7 while the unofficial U6 figures uh, had a reduction from 16.3 per from 17.3% down to 16.5%. When I originally see these numbers, I can definitely admit that I was surprised. I was not expecting a number down to 9.7. I thought if 10% was broke to the downside, it would have been 9.9. .9. Nonetheless, these are what the numbers came into play. I originally thought, well, maybe with the jobs lost at 20,000 that is this a result of people going off of unemployment benefits then becoming discouraged workers? Maybe a bunch of people would have received underemployment, meaning have picked up 12 or 16 hour jobs. That's what made the most sense to me, but with the U6 numbers going from 17.3 down to 16.5, that really didn't explain too much. But I'm still trying to make sense of this. You lose 20,000 jobs, and the unemployment rate goes from 10% down to 9.7. That's almost like saying that the stock market is down on the Dow, like 15 points for the day, but we're up over 2%. The numbers just don't make sense. So what I thought I would do is do some uh, simple mathematics. There is 300 million people in the United States and probably around a third of them are under age or over age, meaning they've retired already, did their, did their part within the workforce. That would leave 200 million people that are able to work. 10% of 200 million would be 20 million, therefore a percent of 200 million is 2 million. A tenth of a percent is 200,000. So to have a move from 10% down to 9.7%, my basic math should tell me that we should have about an increase of around 600,000 jobs. But no, that uh, did not happen. Yet we did have a reduction down to 97 And after all, I'm not a financial economic expert. I, uh, I seen the collapse coming in advance. After all, if you're an expert, they said they could not see it happening whatsoever. And uh, I don't know, I'm very, very confused to how these numbers have uh, came into play. So to me, it means that uh, two things look logical to be true. One of two things that is. Number one, there is just something that I'm looking at that I just don't get. Or there's this one piece of information that I'm looking for that I can't find that I should be looking for. If that's the case, maybe that's the reason why I'm so confused. But the second one could be how these numbers that they are giving to us, people have criticized them before and when you can't make sense of them, then should they be criticized? I don't know. You lose 20,000 jobs and you go from 10% down to 9.7 percent. When we talk about a disconnect between Wall Street and Main Street, maybe this is uh, one of the reasons why. I don't know. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Leave your comments below and uh, thank you for watching. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.